you're going to be better for it. And you want to know why you're going to be better for it? Because she turned you down and you're a good guy. Advice Friday. Advice Friday. We got we some got good some ones. submissions. We got some submissions. We got Wyatt and Stacy Softball 38. Stacy Softball 38. All right. all right. What's your advice, Stacy? No, well, you want to start with Wyatt first? Oh, okay, yeah. I thought that was all, like, all, or. all one for some reason. Okay. All right. Wyatt says, How do I get my crush to like me? <laughs> I got one for him. I got one for him. <laughs> I, got, I got one for him. All right. I got one for him. All right, Wyatt, I don't know what you look like. And maybe you maybe you are in shape, maybe you're not. I don't know. I'm not saying that this is everything, but I will say this. Get in the gym and get some abs. <laughs> the ladies like the curls. Ladies like the curls, and they fucking love sleeping on them. <laughs> yeah, my two cents would be don't be a, uh, what do we call it, phone dick. Don't be don't a be slap a, dicker. Don't be a phone dick. Don't be a phone dick. Don't be a phone dick. You got something to say, man up. Approach him or her. <laughs> hey, you got to keep political. Got to be, keep... be politically gotta correct. Got to be politically yeah. correct. Um, yeah. And I don't think it uh, it hurts to tell somebody how you feel. I like that. Hey, and you know what? And if she rejects you or he rejects you, guess what? On to the next one. Her loss or his loss, your gain. Because if she or he says no, guess what? You're going to be better for it. And you want to know why you're going to be better for it? Because she turned you down and you're a good guy. And she don't see it or he don't see it. So that's their loss, not yours. Go to the next one and pick up the next fish in the sea. And if that one doesn't work, go to the next fish. And then the next one. And then eventually, you'll get a nice fish with some saute on it, and you'll eat that shit up for the rest of your life. <laughs> Great question, Wyatt, and I appreciate you chiming in. Yeah. I would Let just... us know how it goes. Yeah, keep us updated. Get in the gym, too, buddy. That doesn't necessarily hurt. And oh, by the way, you need wood, you know where to order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a Valentine's Day gift. Like, perfect. But I would just say, yeah, whatever happens, happens. And, like, Let it happen. Yeah. I mean, no need to be nervous because, like, there's a, you can always just go on to the next one, you know? That's good advice. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next question. Advice. Uh, next right. advice. Stacy Softball 38. Stacy Stacy Softball. What's going on? Buddy. She says, I am secretly dating my brother's best friend. Oh, boy. He just committed to Clemson for football, but I am staying in Boston for community college. He wants to give up football for me and stay. What should I do? Uh, All right. Um, All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. We talking about the same Clemson? We talking about Clemson <laughs> University or Clemson fucking State? Clemson <laughs> University. He wants to get stay playing football to to, to to see her more. Yeah, Stacy, and stay and go to community college in Boston at like Bunker Hill or something. Or uh, maybe he could go to UMass. Right, first of all, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we, he could play we're, under, we're underlining you some of this. You can play at Clemson. You can play at BC. Oh, maybe he could play at BC. But you don't. Could, you don't. You're going to Clemson. If you go to Clemson, you can get fucking drafted. You realize if you can play you at can Clemson. You get drafted at BC. Um, your chances are a lot better well, at fucking love. Clemson. What about BC's love? BC's a national They're contender. They're in love. What? I mean Clemson. I mean Clemson. <laughs> what? Definitely not BC. Definitely not BC. <laughs> But they're in Almost love. Almost had to check your Kool-Aid temperature on that one. <laughs> Don't you think you should, they should put love at the top? Casey. Love conquers. If this kid's got a dream to play at Clemson, you let Cold the kid play. play at Clemson. And then you figure out the shit later. Casey, uh -huh. I'm going to tell you something, okay? Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me ask you this, okay? And then we are going to give you a more thorough answer, Stacey. I'm just, I know I'm going off topic here. <laughs> But he's just being fucking an asshole and not letting me t answer your question. So, you had the opportunity of a lifetime in L.A. Yeah. Time out. Okay? L.A.? Just, just hear me out. No, this isn't Clemson. I, I'm talking about you. Hypothetical. I'm talking Hypo about you. Hypothetical? All right. You and Sally have been together for three years. Okay. Right? Is that, is that right? Three years? No. Two years. Two. Okay. Two years. 
Yeah, we've known each other. She said, you get the opportunity. Warren Brothers calls you and says they want you to go to L.A. and be a director, producer for Warren Brothers. Warren Brothers? Warner. Yeah. Warner Brothers? Same shit. Same shit. Same shit. Same shit. <laughs> you knew exactly what he meant. I knew what he meant, don't too. Be, don't be a fucking smartass. He's being a phone dick. They say, Casey, we're going to pay you millions of dollars a year to produce all these movies a year. You could work with guys like Mark Wahlberg and The Rock and shit like that. The Rock. The Rock. Okay? I want to stay over But over. you... I'm, I respect that. But, I mean, if you turn down a million dollars, I'll slap you with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I respect that. Go. Anyway. So... You tell, but Sally says I want you to stay here because I don't want to do this long distance relationship shit, and I want to be a psychiatric. What's she doing again? <laughs> uh, social worker. Social worker. She wants to be a social worker in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you tell Sally? At Children's. Right. Yeah. And she goes, "That's the best hospital to do it at." Yeah. You tell her. You know what you say to Sally? I didn't say, and be very. I'm being very careful when I say this. I'm going to say, Sally, pack your fucking bags. We're going to L.A. I'm getting paid millions of dollars. Okay. Or? Yeah, but there's a risk there. What if he's, Smell you. What if he's not, like, the starting quarterback? Like, what if he's, like, still fighting for a position? Like, there's risk, you know? All right. So going... If Dabo Sweeney comes into your home and says, we want you to come to Clemson University. What if he's a walk-on? He could be a walk-on. I severely doubt he's a walk-on. You realize the fucking people that they get at that fucking program? Read me the email again. Yeah, read, read it again. All right. Bear with us, Stacy. I am secretly dating my brother's best friend. We gotta get on that topic. Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> come back get on that fucking topic we'll come back first, to that. okay? He just committed to Clemson for football. He committed. He's not a walk-on. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you would <laughs> sign a letter of intent. All right. You got a good point there. But I am staying in Boston for a community college. Right. He wants to give up football for me instead. What should I do? You should see if how how Stacy. Let me let me let me ask you this question. How much do you this love him? Be a real one, isn't it? With all the Stacy stuff that's going on, is this a real thing? Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. How much? <laughs> Stacy, how much do you love? What? She never put his name in there, right? No. Okay. Stacy, how much do you love your boyfriend? Let's call him Bobby. I'm gonna call him Bobby. What if his name's Joey? Uh, let's call him Joey. What if his name's Timmy? Let's, all right. We don't know what his fucking name is. All right. You might well call him fucking Nick. All right. Gee, the fucking least. Whoever your boyfriend's name is, okay, <laughs> let's put it that way. How much do you love him? Because are you guys just getting started? <laughs> or are you in something I'm real? Because let me ask, let me tell you this. <laughs> Playing for Clemson is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Now, I'm not saying you guys break up. But if you guys love each other that much, you guys can make it work. Long distance relationships suck. Happen all the time, even though they suck, but they do what happen. Yeah, but but here, no, no, shut up. What I'm saying is that if you love him that much, you need to tell him to go play football at Clemson. Because let's 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 uh, reverse the course. Let's say that you had the opportunity to do something that you really loved, but he told, but you wanted to, th you were thinking about quitting because you wanted to be around him more. If he's a good boyfriend. Or girlfriend. Let's just get to, let's just cover our bases. He's a boyfriend. You never know. It's a, it's. Oh yeah, it's Clemson. Yeah, stay, fuck stay, yeah, stay, stay, yeah, stay, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, brother's yeah. best friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was trying to just cover my ass over here. Anyway, right. uh, Joey, just cut that little shit out. Anyway, so if he's your boy, if he, your boyfriend tells you, I mean, if you're if you're, fuck, I just lost track of thought. Sorry, let me go back. So she has, you have an opportunity to do something you really love. If your boyfriend loved you that much. He would tell you, go do it. I think that's great advice. My, one of my takeaways from this email is that this player seems a little skeptical now. She made it seem like he doesn't want to go for her. Is that right, Casey? That's that's how I'm reading it. Say that again? That's how I'm reading it. What? He, she's making it sound like he's the one who's hesitant, right? I'm going to tell you something. So what are you saying about that? I'm saying he needs to go to Clemson. Okay. And she needs to convince him. And she needs uh, to convince him to do it. And oh, by the I didn't way, think about it like that. That's wow, what I'm that's saying. good advice, guys. You need, you need, you need to have, you need to have him, you need to have him go because that opportunity doesn't happen every day. Yeah. Okay. 
That opportunity doesn't happen every day. Yeah, and if you love somebody that much, you need to support their dreams. You need to support what they love in life because what you love in life is what carries you in life. Yeah. Like, what if... Like, love will always be there, but football won't. And maybe she could go to community college down there. Or maybe she just flies down there and sees him. Goes to the games. Goes to the games. Yeah, long distance sucks. The other point I Casey, bring is it's that temporary. if he just committed... This is still a ways away. It's four years. It's not temporary. Because he's obviously not, mean, not playing temporary. this year. What if? What if he fucking? What if he's a stud and he fucking gets drafted and fucking has oh, life changing yeah. money? That's your fault. That might not be what you want to hear, but I already we we made this loud and clear. Big Nick's gonna give you the realest advice he can. Wait. Also, we need to address the other. We need to address uh, the other part it. too. I'm gonna address it. So my point is that this kid just committed. Football yeah. season's already started. Yeah. So that means it's at least a year away until he's going to Clemson. Mm. What if y'all my, break up anyway? My first point is, yeah, a lot of stuff can happen during that year. I sure. So I don't think you should be making that decision right now. What if they're secretly dating <laughs> they are. other people in play? We need to address that. Well, I'm gonna. Oh, okay, sorry. But Wait. there's plenty of time between now and then. Okay. The first thing you gotta do <laughs> is tell the, the friend, the brother. The you brother? Have, you, got, you, you gotta, gotta let him. him know. You can't be doing shady shit behind his back. No, yeah, yeah, you can't be doing that shit. That's how my yeah. Been there, done the, the, that. You know. You've been there, done that. Kidding. Screw you. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. And if the the brother <laughs> really has a problem with it, you you try and talk it through. But you can't do secret shit. You can't. Do I, I don't like shit. secret shit. You can't, can't do secret shit. You got fucking. You gotta you gotta be a big girl and you gotta tell your brother. That relationship right there is worth more than any job, career, or dollar bill. Tell your brother. He might not like it at first, but at least he'll respect you and tell you that. Yeah. Maybe he'll be understanding about it, too. You never know. Um, if I was secretly finding out <laughs> that... I'm trying to be optimistic. Okay. Okay. Say you don't have a brother, correct? I do have a brother. You do? Yeah. Okay. Say your brother was... Okay, I, I'm going to get kind of dark here, but i got to prove a point to you. Okay. <laughs> Say your brother was secretly dating your girlfriend. What? <laughs> That's not what it is. What do you mean? That's not what it is at all. What do you mean? He's secretly dating your fucking girlfriend, so not only no, your girlfriend's not it. Your it's girlfriend's not fucking it. Your girlfriend's <laughs> fucking hit that one with you, and then hit that one with him, and fucking get fucking sesame twins in that shit. <laughs> that's not it. That's what do you not, mean that's, that's not, not it? it? She's dating the fucking brother's best. Her. It's like me dating Alexis's best friend. Who's Alexis? Ooh, my sister. Uh, that would be like Abe dating my sister. Yeah, how would that go? Funny you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny you brought that up. I want to ask your sister a question. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. But that's what it would be like, you know? Uh, that, that's how, all right, let me ask you a question. That is how that's like. Uh, what? My point it is... It wouldn't be like my brother dating Sally. No, it Yes, it would. It's, it's no, called no. sneaking behind your back. I'm not talking about the same difference. I'm talking about that's the same difference. <laughs> no, it's not. No, no. I'm not, no, no, no. Time out. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna convince you, and I'm gonna convince you. What I'm saying to you is, yes, you are correct. It is not the same concept as your brother's dating your girlfriend. <laughs> right. I'm on your side with that. What I'm saying is, it's the same difference. Again, same being that it's your brother doing something behind your back secretly, like she's doing. But the difference it's is, a whole is that level, bro. I, I, it's it's all secrets. Out. It's all fucking secrets. It's, it is all secrets, it's all but secrets. it's a whole nother level. That's a whole nother fucking level. I'm just saying. Sister That's like Mike's Think about it. What? Murder? Yeah. All right. That's the fucking extreme levels here. Stacy, tell your brother, please. No, that's all we got. All right. All right, guys. Um, continue sending your advice for next week. We do this every Friday. That was a great segment. What would you guys think? That was great. Some yeah. good question. There's some good uh I'm, I'm still preaching. Do not fucking keep secrets. Alright. And yeah. ask your brother. Nick doesn't like secrets. Make sure to continue watching us on YouTube. Blood is thicker than water. Review, Blood's thicker than water. Review on podcasts everywhere you find podcasts. Subscribe. You guys know the deal. Have a great weekend. That's a wrap. Be careful out there, everybody. Be careful. Stacy, you better tell him bike Monday. <laughs>